Oh, welcome. It's going to be a part two of the last video of the uh, dovetail from Sears. Kind of got into too much talking and no action. I forgot to really show what I do with the boards once they're set. And uh, really quickly, let me make this one quick. Here I have the box. And what I usually do is, because I'm making them the cuts on the inside we all do all the, all the jigs do that but I I go th with the corners where I'll do this corner and then the front with this side those that I got that corner and then that one with that one and that's why you you have to kind of mark them so you know especially which one is the bottom so if you already have the the groove for your bottom piece fine if you don't I put a little line but again A B C D doesn't matter how you name them or number them doesn't matter so the whole thing here is to do the corners is the way I look at it so I do this corner with the front and the side and I do this corner with the front and the side and again the back With the side in that one so I'll show you how I do it how easy it is once you have it set up up on top let me bring you back a little you will close this up Let's see okay right here I'll take the front and this side and I want to do this joint here so I have The front always goes on top, the sides always go in the front like this. Now let me do the other one. I want to do this one. So I grab them. And again, the top and the front. And you do your adjustment. And you do your thing when you're done the way I do it is I flip the top like this I switch I should say I switch the top but I flip the side they stay in the same spot but you just flip it just like that and of course you adjust it and then you uh, and then you do your cutting that's all I do switch it and I flip it stays in the same spot when I go back to where it was flip it Flip it. And this guy you switch. You switch here and you go back the other way. And here you go. That's B with D with the inside. A with C with the bottom of it. I think I have if I could close up little picture uh, that's what I did uh, let's see what happened to that we do away uh, I don't have it Probably blew away. Uh, yeah. Anyway, just to show you what kind of happens when you do that, uh, it's got to be somewhere. But anyway, 
you can see that the inside, or I should say the bottom, uh, is away from the pin. They don't want you to do it that way. They always have the bottom of the box always facing the pin. But because we go on with this 7-8 rule, we are allowed to do this. It doesn't matter which way the bottom of the box is at. It's either against the pin, like this one, or away from the pin, like this one. Because you still have the same setup on either side. So again, if I was to do the other side now, I flip, I switch, of course you got to flip, but you switch, flipping, and then here, what you do is just flip it around, you keep it in the same spot, flip it around, keep it in the same spot, and now look what happens, the bottom is away from the pin, in this side, the bottom is against the pin. So it kind of reverses. I just want to kind of add that up to the last video because the switching over is the confusing part, I believe, especially if you read the manual. Oh my goodness. When you do one side only, you got to flip it over. It's a flipping. It's so much a flipping that uh, I guess. You'll get used to it once you start doing it, but this is the way I've done it all the time. And of course, if I was to do the rabbit one, uh, that has to be done a little different. That rabbit is part A. This guy has to be done a little different just the two corners of this front of this front piece of your drawer because you have a rabbit around so when you do this one it's just a little different the two cuts just the two cuts in the front but I won't go through that anyway let me stick that in there just to uh, uh, kind of clear uh, kind of the way I used to do my uh, dovetails back in the day and thanks for watching.